I want to discuss how you use the depreciation worksheet on the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. Now, it's a handy worksheet to know. It does several different methods of depreciation, and I'll show you a couple of them. Now, the first type of depreciation you generally learn in accounting class is called straight the straight line method. And that means that we take the cost and we subtract out the salvage value and we simply divide by the life of the investment. So in order to do this, let's take a look at an example. Suppose we have a machine that costs 100000 has a salvage value of 25000 and a life of five years. So if we take the 100000 we subtract 25000 so we want to depreciate 75000 of it divide it by five, we get $15,000 in depreciation. And here the depreciation is going to be the same um, no matter what year it is. Let's see if we can do this on the uh, financial calculator. So if we go over here, we hit second, and above the four key it says DEPR, so we get the depreciation worksheet. SL stands for straight line, which is the method we want to use here. If you want to change the method, it's going to be second set. This changes it to doing the sum of the year's digits approach. If we change it again, DB stands for declining balance. Sometimes you, we use double declining balance would be the most popular. There's another method, um, declining balance. It goes back to straight line. I'm not going to talk about that here. So let's talk about the straight line method. After you decide what method you're using, we can scroll down. In this case, the life of the project is five years. And we hit enter to make sure it registers. Make sure you see that equal sign. M01 tells you what month you put the asset in. So here it's put in at one. You could have 1.5, which means we put it in in year one and it starts depreciating halfway through the month. We're not going to worry about that. We'll just assume we put it into, uh, we have the asset um, in the first month and it begins depreciation right away. The cost here is 100000 Make sure you hit enter. Salvage value is $25,000. Um, if we want to look at the year one depreciation, we see it's 15000 That's not going to change because in the straight line method, we depreciate the same amount every period. If we scroll down, RBV means remaining book value. There's still $85,000 in book value left. It was 100000 We depreciated 15000 And RDV means remaining uh, depreciable valuable. So how much more we can depreciate off of this? Remember, we could depreciate a total of 75000 because we're going to depreciate it down to its salvage value of 25000 We've depreciated 60000 already. If we change this to year two, again, hit enter, you'll see the depreciation is the same. You can see that the book value is now remaining book value is lower, right? We've depreciated 15,000 a year for two years, so it's down to 70,000, and the remaining depreciable value is 45,000, so it's 15,000 less. All right, let's take a look at another method, sum of the year's digits. This is an accelerated depreciation method, and accelerated methods are ones that allow you to depreciate more in the early years and less in the later years. So you're able to take these tax deductions early. So this is the case where we're going to, the denominator is going to be the sum of the year's digits. So if you had a, something that depreciates over four years, it would be one plus two plus three plus four, that would be 10. You can calculate it by taking N, the number of years, life years, times the sum of n plus 1 divided by 2. And here the depreciation is going to be different in different years. So it's going to be the life minus the year plus 1 divided by 
the sum of the year's digits. That's all this is here in the denominator. This is n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So that's just this. And then times the cost minus the salvage value. Let's take a look at um, our previous example. Five-year life, uh, $100,000 asset, and a $25,000 salvage value. Let's see if we can't change this. So let's go back here and change this from sum of the years, uh, I'm sorry, from straight line to sum of the years digits. Okay, life is still five years. Okay, we're still staying with that month one. Cost is 100,000. Salvage value is 25,000. Let's go back to year one, enter. And for year one, it's going to be 5 minus 1 plus 1. So it's going to be 5 over the sum of the year's digits, which since there are 5 years, it's going to be 5 times 6, which is 30, divided by 2, which is 15. So we're going to depreciate 5 fifteenths of 75,000. And that's going to turn out to be 25,000. And again, we can look at the um, remaining book value, 75000 right? We've taken the $100,000 asset. We've depreciated 25000 of it. Uh, the remaining depreciable value is 50000 All right, how about year three? So this is going to be 5 minus 3 plus 1. So that's going to be 3 over 15 times 75000 or 15000 so let's change this to year three and see if we get the same number. We get $15,000 in depreciation. We see that the remaining book value is 40000 And we see that the remaining depreciable value is 15000 And let's take a look at the last method I'm going to talk about, the declining balance method, another accelerated depreciation method. And again, these are methods that depreciate the asset at a higher rate during the early years and a lower rate during the later years. And what you find is that, again, now you get a different amount of depreciation for each year. How does this work? Well, you're going to start by finding the depreciation rate. That's going to be the cost divided by the life and if you multiply by 2, this would be a double declining balance. And then de depreciation is going to be book value in the time period times the depreciation rate. And let me say that you've not taken out salvage value here, so you can only depreciate this down to the salvage value. All right, let's change our function here. So let's go back. We have sum of the year's digits. Let's change this to declining balance. This 200 year here means that it's a double declining balance, 200 percent. So um, I don't know why they didn't just use two. I guess you can use fractions of that. So you could have two and a quarter percent or something. But this 200 stands for 200 percent, or it's the two here. And let's go down. We have a life of five. We have, we're still leaving that uh, month business at one. Cost is 100000 Salvage value is 25000 And let's go back to year one. Enter. Now let me show you this table here. A little bit small. Hope you can see it. And in year one, the depreciation, the depreciation rate is going to be 40%. It's going to be 40% because it's going to be 100,000 divided by 5, which is 20%, times 2. So that's the de double declining balance business. So we're going to use 40% as our rate. Our beginning balance is 100,000. And the rate is 40%, so we're going to depreciate 40,000. And if we want to go down, our remaining book value is 60,000. 
but our remaining depreciable amount is only 35,000. And it's only 35,000 because we're only going to depreciate this down to 25,000, the salvage value. How about for year two? Let's see, let's go back to, let's go to year two. Hit enter. Now our depreciation is 24,000 because the remaining balance is 60,000. I'm sorry, the book value, let's call it that. The book value is 60,000 times 40%. And that gives us a $24,000 depreciation expense. What's our remaining book value? 36,000. Okay. But we can only depreciate 11,000 more because we don't want to depreciate it any lower than the $25,000 salvage value. We didn't subtract out salvage value when we did this calculation. Okay, so if we get to year three, all we can depreciate is 11,000. Remaining book value is 25,000. And there's no more depreciation to be taken out because we've depreciated it down to the ending uh, book value. You can even see in year four, you'll see we won't depreciate anything. Depreciate nothing, still remains at 25,000. And again, this table, I don't know how well you can see it, but um, we don't depreciate anything in year four and year five because we've already reached the, um, the salvage value. So, you know, this, uh, the depreciation worksheet is kind of handy. It does a couple of different methods of depreciation. It does not do the modified accelerated cost recovery system. All right, I have a video tutorial for doing that, but it does do a couple of these different methods. And so it's quite handy um, to know if you need to do straight line or let's say some of the year's digits or double declining balance comes in handy because it was a little more tedious to calculate.